Hello and welcome to Toyploid 2. Over on my main channel Toyploid I've recently been working on a vintage Mattel Space 1999 Moonbase Alpha set and it was missing one key element which was the console screen that appears in the middle of the playset. This is an acetate sheet with a nicely printed detail showing some computer components and shots of eagles flying and without this piece the set really doesn't look complete and it's also an incredibly hard piece to find so I thought the best way to go about fixing up this set was to make my own recreation of that missing artwork. So I found an image online which showed most of what I needed to recreate and I've then taken that into Photoshop and started to do a little bit of tidying up because the image was a bit distorted and trying to get it to look as flat and as neat as I possibly could. At that point I then have to start recreating everything from scratch on top of this rough mock-up. Luckily with Space 1999 a lot of the artwork uses promo images from the show so for the pictures of the eagles I just did a quick Google search and I managed to find two images which were as close as I could possibly get to those original shots and using those I was able to recreate the images fairly easily and get them looking as close as possible. The image of the moon used in the centre of this control panel was not one I'd been able to find so my best option for that was to run the fairly distorted image that I'd found through Gigapixel and upscale it as best I could and then tidy it up and clean it up in Photoshop redrawing bits of it and redrawing the line so that it looked a lot sharper and I was really pleased with the end result although not perfect it will really do the job and I think by the time it's printed onto some acetate it will work very well. Thank you. 
The graphics on the left hand side of this panel were all fairly straightforward and I thought the best way to deal with that would just be to redraw them from scratch. They were made up of some fairly simple shapes just with some text added and the row of five icons in the middle looked like they shouldn't be too bad to redraw as well. So my plan right from the start was just to redraw these and not worry about trying to upscale or clean up the image that I had found.
the image of the solar system on the top left hand side I had already upscaled using the gigapixel package and it had come across reasonably well but a lot of the detail had been lost and there was lots of damage to the image so I spent a little bit of time tidying it up and cleaning it up and trying to make it look a lot more like it should have done originally but there was only so much I could do with it so in the end I searched for a similar spiral galaxy type image and used that to sort of lay on top and composite together to make an image that looked a whole lot better and again by the time this is printed out I don't think you'll notice that any of this has been modified it should look just as good as the original. Once I was happy that I managed to get the graphics as close as possible to the original photograph that I'd found, I then set about adding some more details to either end because the idea with this acetate sheet is that it's folded into a cylinder and joins together with a few clips on either side. So I added some details where those should be so that when I get it sent off to the printers, all of that will be printed onto the sheet and I should be able to just cut it out and piece it together. But there's only one way to check that this actually works and that is to get it printed. My printer at home isn't good enough to print onto acetate sheets. So I found an online company that can do that. I've sent this file off to them. They're gonna print it out, send it back to me, and then I can see if it all works. And the only way to find out if it has worked is to check out the main video over on Toyploy. I'm hopeful that it will work because I've got all the measurements correct and I've made the artwork as nice and tidy as I possibly can. So hopefully, once this is printed, it will just slot into the toy and the toy will look as good as new. Hopefully this video has been of interest to you. If it has, then make sure to hit the subscribe button and tap the bell to be notified each time I upload a new video. And if you've really enjoyed it, then head on over to my main channel, Toy Beloit, and check out all the videos there. And thanks for watching. Hey.